and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Friday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> You're getting so good at these victory rolls, Chelsea. I look almost glamorous. Oh, what are you talking about? You look absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. But I do need to go and get ready for work in a minute. OK, just um, let me do this last roll. <laughs> I've never known you so quiet while doing hair. I know, right? But these take proper concentration. Well, you'll have to be able to talk when you're doing the demonstration next week. Go on, give it a go now, as if you're teaching me how to do them. Oh, all right. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, at this point, I've rolled the curl around my fingers and it's sitting tightly against your scalp. It's a bit too tight, Chelsea. Yeah, it has to be. Right, now, pin the curl in place using three or four hair grips. Uh, oh, oh, um, can you pass them to me, Mum? No. Oh. Here you go. Okay. Mm, yeah, right. Thanks. And um, finally, slide the hair grips into place with your free hand into the front like this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and into the back of the curl like this. And there you go. <sighs> Vera Lynn in the kitchen of number six, the green. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. Uh, Next week, you should get a volunteer from the audience to have a go at doing one. Then, when they make a right mess of it, people will be even more impressed with you. Yeah. But imagine Brian Aldridge doing a victory roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, all right, are we done? Can I go and get ready now? Oh, hang on, hang on. You oh. need a ton of hairspray or they'll start to fall out. But I've got to take them out anyway. I'm at the bull in half an hour. And I've got to get out of these grotty joggers and into something at least half decent for serving on a Friday night. Right. <coughs> right. Uh, well, I reckon you should keep them in for work tonight. <laughs> Put on some bright red lippy with... Hang on. Oh, yeah, this carnation hairpin and the emerald green blouse you got from the charity shop last week. All right, then. I will. It'll make a change from sticking a bit of blusher on and dragging a comb through me hair at the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya, right, Freddie. All right, Vince. How's life at the lake treating you? It's a revelation. <laughs> Total peace. How's things going there? Oh, it's been busy. Any more complaints? Um. I'd rather know. Yeah, yeah well, may maybe a couple. Uh, but don't worry, I I've demonstrated our zealous commitment to extraordinary customer service. That's my boy. <laughs> oh, uh, did you get my message? About following Jason? Yeah. It's not him. I wasted three hours of my life hanging behind his van, and it was a model delivery. He didn't even stop off for a cheeky burger. Look, I thought you were joking when you said you were going to follow him. Eh? Why would you think that? Because you said you were joking on the message you left. Oh. And I'd rather not have to tell your mother you got yourself beaten up in a brawl over stolen meat. <sighs> There's no chance of that. Look, I stayed in the car the whole time. I kept well back, well hidden. I'm not stupid. Well, good. Anyway, Antonio's on the late delivery tonight. And if I park up on the approach road to the abattoir, I can follow his van as it leaves the yard. Or you could wait until I'm back. This was the plan all along. I'd be much happier if we did this together. Uh, so, sorry, Vince. I, I, I'm going to have to go. There's another call coming through. So, anything good planned for the weekend, George? Uh, drilling Swedes first thing tomorrow, then just gaming and the cricket. Hang on, is that me on your phone? Yeah, 
Or I'm editing footage from the T20, trying to get another post out of it. I hope you're not putting anything up online that makes me into a laughing stock, George. Digitally altering me so that instead of bowling, I fall face first into a cow pack. <laughs> no, there's an idea, Annie Tracy. <laughs> I nearly didn't recognise you. What do you think, George? I did a hair and makeup. Yes, it looks all right. Bit old fashioned, though. Yeah, that's the point. I mm. feel like a completely different person. Loads of people have been asking about my hair and how I did it. And what did you say? That I rolled it round my fingers, stuck in a load of hairpins and Bob's your uncle. Stuck in a load of hairpins? <laughs> Joking. I told them my very talented daughter did it. Yeah, well, I hope you're telling everyone about the D-Day event next week, that they can come along to Ambridge Hall and learn from me there. Of course I am. Oh, it's such brilliant publicity having you dressed up like that. Linda will be proud of us. Hi, Chelsea. How's it going? Oh, yeah, good. What can I get you, Ben? Pint of cider with ice, please. What are you drinking, Chelsea? Ah, oh, nice, no, all right. I'll get mine. No, no way. You got the drinks on Wednesday. It's my round. It's very generous of you, Ben. Mine's a pint of Shires. Oi, it's not free for all, George. It's all right. <laughs> so, a pint of cider, a Shires for George in his special hero glass. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And Chelsea? Nah, no, I'll just have a lemonade. I'm working early tomorrow. <laughs> Chelsea was telling me that you're part of Linda's D-Day thing too, Ben. Yeah, Linda is hard to say no to. Oh, he's doing a talk on nursing in the war. I started reading about conscription last night. It's weird to think that we'd have all been called up for service. Men aged 18 to 51, women from 20 to 30. Well, I'd have been all right until September then. Well, thankfully, <laughs> I'm well past it. <laughs> you realise they're calling you lot the pre-war generation? Oh, no way. You'd be all right, George. I'd say you've got what it takes to be a soldier. What, just because he jumps into a river doesn't mean he wants to fight in a war? Oh, stop embarrassing him. Here's your pint, George, and a lemonade and cider with ice coming up. Hi, Freddie. Hiya, mate. Where are you? I just called up to Brookfield and they said you'd gone out. I'm at the Bull with Chelsea. Oh, OK. Come and join us. Uh, well, no, not not if it's like a date. I mean... No, 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 wait. We're planning our presentations for Linda's thing next um... week. Robert was telling us how your great-granddad, Alec Pargeter, actually fought at D-Day. Yeah, I know. I, I remember Dad telling us the story. Well, uh... At least part of it. I bet Linda would love you to talk about him. Oh, well, maybe if it was a few months away, but work is crazy right now. Uh, anyway, that's sort of why I was kind of hoping you were free to come and help me with something. What, tonight? Yeah. I kind of need a volunteer this very moment. And I think <laughs> Vince might freak out if he finds out I'm doing it on my own. Wait, you want me to leave the pub on a Friday night to do a favour for Vince? Have you forgotten what that man did to Chelsea and me? It's a favour for me, not Vince. And it's a pretty cool job. A kind of, uh, Fargo meets James Bond. <laughs> Mate, I don't know. I'd feel bad leaving Chelsea. Oh, sh she could come too. Oh, I'm sorry, Freddie. Give me a bit more notice next time and I'm definitely there. Ben, mate. That's the wrong answer, OK? You're going to be sorry when I'm found dead in a wheelie bin tomorrow morning. <laughs> what kind of a job is this? But I swear I've learnt more history in the last two days than I ever did at school. Or maybe I just actually listened this time. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Jim told me all about the Normandy landings. It was, like, massive. Whole armies going across to France and totally secret. Did you hear what Robert was saying about fake news? Yeah, mad that it was used back then. They actually leaked false plans. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Ready? I thought you'd be deep into your covert operation by oh, now. I should be. I'm really pushing it. I need to be back at Casey Meets by eight at the latest or I'll miss the target. Last chance to come, Ben. Freddy wants me to join him on some secret mission involving stolen meat. Oh. I have to follow a delivery van without being seen. What, you mean a bit like the paratroopers before D-Day? Oh, yeah, sounds cool to me. I'm in. Really? Yeah. Great. Well, if you're going, Chelsea, I better come too. But we'll need to pick up donuts on the way. Oh, and coffee. Fancy it, George? Fancy being the muscle of the operation? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. I thought I was the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> what about it, George? Nah, oh, I think I'll stay here. But what? It might make for a great post. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. Strictly no posting of anything on social media. Okay. This is totally under the wire. Oh, come on, George. 
Or Ben will be Billy No Mates in the back of the car. Oi, why am I in the back of the car? Well, I said no. I don't want to be caught doing some dodgy fake detective job with a bunch of amateurs. Right. Well, come on then, you two. We don't have much time. Right. Uh, are these all empty? Oh, yeah, thanks, Mum. Where are you going? Uh, we could tell you, but once we did, we'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, but uh, take care. Do you want another donut, Freddy? There's double chocolate or rainbow sprinkles. Mm. No, no, I I'm OK, thanks. Can you see? Is that the Casey Meets van indicating? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a lay-by down here. I bet that's where he's going. Hey, what's he called again? Antonio. What on earth is he up to? <laughs> he probably needs a wee. I'm going to have to indicate too. I hope it's not too obvious. Well, here's the lay-by. I'll just park up right at this end and, and kill the lights. Would you see who that is, Chelsea? No. Oh. Right, it's Vince. Oh, damn. What's up? He doesn't know I'm here. What? I thought you were doing the job for him. But I am, just kind of covertly. Well, shall I answer it and tell him to do one? No, no, get it here, Chelsea. Thanks. <sighs> now, just um, act natural, uh, like we're in the pub or something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Shh, shh. Hi, Vince. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah, I was thinking about our conversation earlier and I wanted to make sure I'd been clear about how oh, I oh, felt... Oh, uh, about sorry, you sorry, sorry, Vince. I'm, uh, I'm actually with Ben and Chelsea right now. All right. Hi. Uh, Look, I really don't want you putting yourself in danger by following the vans. I'm not. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not putting myself in danger. Oh, I want some crisps, Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Got some. Promise you won't go all vigilante on me for your mother's sake, if not mine. Oh, I, I, I can't really hear what you're saying... I, I don't think the signal's very good at the lake. Freddy. Bye, 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 bye Vince. <laughs> oh, shut up, shut up. What's happening? Uh, Has he got out the van yet? Uh, no. Or maybe he just pulled in to answer his phone. Or eat a sandwich. Oh, I really don't like this. I feel like we're horribly exposed here. No, no, no we're fine, we're fine. I doubt he can see us in his wing room. <sighs> This is proper exciting. Maybe I should join the police instead of opening a salon. I think you'd make a great police officer. Hey, 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 oh, hey, thanks, Ben. That van's just pulled in, right behind Antonio. Oh. Can you see the number plate? Uh... No, it's too far away. Or, like, covered in mud or something. Oh, hey, hey, Freddy, I think your driver's getting out. Yeah, yeah, he is. Look, he's, he's talking to the other guy. Oh, I can't see properly. Unless I actually see Antonio handing over meat, this proves nothing. Oh, the other guy is opening his passenger side door. Hey, do you want to swap seats, Freddy? I think I've got a better view. He's walking uh, this way. Handing over bags of meat. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? That's not Antonio. What, you mean we followed the wrong van? No, no, it's one of our vans, all right, but that man is not Antonio. Well, surely that's good news, isn't it? You wanted Vince to be wrong about the ex-car. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but I... I really, really didn't want it to be Jason. Why? Is he a mate? No, not exactly. But he's a good worker. A family man. What, who just happens to steal meat off you and sell it on? <sighs> What do you do? I, I do the spot effects on the arches. I just, uh, yeah, any Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay. And, and these, are, these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production? Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's, this one? Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever